channel it's me Hannah Dye and I hope you guys are having a really good Sunday um, before I start the video I do want to do a little bit of explaining I just recently started doing Tuesdays and Fridays as my upload date it's a very recent thing that I just started and I'm not very good at it so last Friday I did end up not uploading a video not because I forgot I actually have a good reason um, but it's not important. Anyway, um, just wanted to kind of clarify that this is Friday's video just on Sunday, basically. Um, like, I just made a new video for it. Um, I, next week, will be out of town. I'll be down in Texas. For those who don't know, I live in Oklahoma. Um, I'll be visiting family, so I won't be doing a whole lot of filming. Um, I will try to get up um, Tuesday and Friday's videos, but for sure I'll have a Monday's Lunchbox video, um, and we'll see kind of what happens. Um, but no guarantees on next week's videos, to be honest. Um, just with me being out of town, being with family, and um, I'm singing at my grandparents' anniversary and baking some cake and some uh, cupcakes, excuse me. I'm going to be very, very busy. So, I will do my best, but I do have some good news for y'all. Not this week, not this coming week, but the week after it, I do have a collab video that will be going up next Friday. So, make sure you guys stay tuned for all that. It's going to be really good. Um... You guys don't know who it is it's another youtuber but i'm not saying anything um so yeah without further ado let's jump into the video okay so let's get into it i'm doing a favorites video today um like i said like i was supposed to upload on friday i decided to do a favorites video they're super easy to film for one thing and also i was looking back and i the last time i have a favorites video is april of 2000 and 2019 or 20 I think it was 2020 I uploaded a favorites video and that was the last one I've had up so this is gonna be a beauty um, hair care kind of uh, realm I don't know genre I don't know what I'm trying to say but you guys know what I mean it's gonna be all beauty products um, so we're gonna start off actually with like the biggest product I actually use this on my hair today to make it look this smooth I am obsessed with it um, actually, my mother-in-law got this for me. I guess my sister-in-law uses it and got my mother-in-law into it, and now I'm super into it. It is this Revlon kind of um, blow brush, blow dry brush. I don't know what it's actually called. Um, by the way, Jared in the background. <laughs> um, he's making breakfast. He's really sweet. He makes breakfast on Sundays. Um, but I'm obsessed with this. I use it on my hair. Um, it makes it super duper smooth. This morning, I did kind of rush through the process. But I like to do kind of a soft flip out of my hair, like a flip, like a, I don't know, that's a term for a style, like instead of it being flipped in, it's out. Um, I love doing that for my hair. I love it because it's kind of vintage, it's soft, and elegant. But when I do it with a curling iron, it ends up being too flipped out, if that makes sense. It ends up being almost costumey in a way, um, and I don't like that. I like it to be very soft and feminine and just, um, I don't know, I just like it like this. So... I used this this morning. What I did with it is I took some of the hair, I can't really like blow dry my hair right now, and would take the brush under it and blow dry it in place like this. That's how I got it looking so smooth. And then I would go back and I would flip it out at the end. So love this product, highly recommend it. I will try to link the products down below, but anyone who's been watching my channel for a long time knows I'm really, really bad at it. But if I do find this product, I will link it down below. I'm gonna look online. If not, I will link a similar one down below. Other products, I have no guarantee. Although I probably should get like one of those Amazon favorites um, pages so I can post it down below and put all my favorites on it for you guys. If that's something you guys would be interested in, I can definitely do that. I just, I'm not very good at linking a bunch of products and I have, I have a decent amount of products. So I'm just gonna reach in and grab things out. Um, this product right here, I don't have it in my hair today. It is the Coconut Milk um, anti-break serum from OGX. I know, right now, OGX is not like the favorite brand when it comes to, um, doing your hair and stuff. Apparently, like, there is recently people were coming out saying that their hair was having issues from using these products. I've never had a single issue with their, their products. Um, I absolutely love them. This one is really nourishing for my hair. I like to put it on after a shower. Sometimes I'll do it on dry hair, but typically I like to do it on the wet hair. I find that it works a lot better. Um, it makes it so smooth and silky and just so clean. It's, it's a oh, amazing, amazing product. Uh, you should definitely check it out. The next product that I have to show you guys is actually a blush. And I have this in here. I went to Texas um, in August, I believe. So it's October or something. October 3rd already. Oh my goodness. 
Um, but I did go in August to Texas and my mom gave me this blush um, that wasn't working for her, but it has become my favorite and it just goes so well with my skin tone. I'm wearing it today. It is the e.l.f. Um, Always Rosy Blush. I'm not going to swatch anything because I am ready for church and I really don't want to um, have to wash all this off. But it looks like that. It is so pretty. You can see it on my skin. I do have some contour products as well, which um, I don't have them in here, but they're also e.l.f. products. Uh, you will notice I use a lot of e.l.f. I love their products. They don't break my skin out. They are afford very, very affordable. Um, and they have a really wide range of products right now. But yeah, I love this blush. wanted to share it with y'all because it is one of my favorites. If you have fair skin with pink undertones and you're looking for a good blush that isn't too pink, this one is just so beautiful. I absolutely love it. The next product I have is another face product. This is by Wet n Wild. I don't typically buy Wet n Wild products uh, because in the past, they were about as cheap as their price tag. They were not really the best uh, brand, but I've noticed in the last year or two, they've really started coming out with some products that are pretty amazing. Um, I've bought a few of them, and then I bought this one as well. Um, like I said before, I'm kind of on the fence about Wet n Wild. Not my favorite brand. I don't hate it. Um, not really one that I reach for, but I was looking for a cheap highlighter that looked really pretty, and I found this one. I'm wearing it on my face. You can see, I know the lighting's not very good, but you can kind of see it on there. Very pretty. I like this one because it's not like glitter, but it's also not like too muted. It's kind of a nice balance. Not, I wouldn't say it's a natural looking highlighter. If you want one, e.l.f. has a really good one that comes with their little quad contour palettes. The one that comes in that is really good. Um, but this one is just really pretty. It comes in pink and this one, and I'm sure they have different shade ranges. And actually, I lied. I'm going to go ahead and swatch these on the back of my hand. You can see them side by side. This one is the pink tone. That one is the champagne tone. So pretty. So gorgeous. If I do want a little extra of a natural look, I do use the pink one because it kind of blends in with the blush and just kind of gives a gradient effect and looks very pretty. But I absolutely love this product. The next one I have to show is another e.l.f. product. I promise I have other products besides e.l.f. in here. Um... But I guess they're my favorite products. I must like them a lot. Um, this is one that I think a lot of people absolutely love. I know I used to have a pink version of it. Don't remember exactly what the name was of that one. This is the Luminous Putty Primer from e.l.f. Um, it is... I need to get a new one. I'm hitting pan on it. Probably need to get a new one for backup. I love this product. I'm not actually wearing it today, surprisingly, because I didn't want to look as glowy as this product does. Um, but if you've seen my videos lately, I've been looking super duper glowy. What I've been doing is moisturizing, which I will show you the moisturizer here in a sec, and then putting this on, and then just putting concealer on, and it's been making me look so glowy. Uh, today I did want to do a little bit of extra makeup, um, kind of did a little bit, a little extra extra makeup, um, but this product is just amazing. It, it just works so well with so many different foundations. It makes my skin look super glowy and keeps my makeup on for a very long time. The next product I have to show you guys, I didn't put it in here. I'll be right back. The next product that I have to show you is this actual, um, why am I talking like this? It is a lash glue. So typically I wouldn't really put a lash glue as a favorite. I don't wear false lashes often. Obviously I'm wearing them today. If you guys couldn't tell, this one looks horrible, but that's fine. We're gonna forget about it. This one looks really bad. Anyway. That's beside the point. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, this lash glue, the reason it is on my favorite list is I've tried a lot of lash glues out and they're either too messy, don't dry fast enough, they're white, so it, you know, when it dries, you get like this glue look to it um, where you can see it visibly. This is a, um, I'm gonna say it's a black one. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I think it's blueberry colored. And it says uh, on it with biotin and blueberry and it is kind of a bluish undertone if you guys can kind of see that but it's also I think it's more black than blue anyway it is a brush on which I really like I put some on the lash um, band let it dry for like maybe five seconds or so blowing on it put it on it sticks immediately it is you can't tell that I'm wearing it that being said I do like to have eyeliner on when I put on lashes with this just so that it's not like an unnatural looking line. Um, but it is just absolutely such a good um, a good glue you can use for your lashes. I highly suggest it um, if you guys have not tried it. 
I know some people who watch my videos who do wear lashes and you have to try that. They sell it at Walgreens, by the way. The next product is actually my eyeliner. It is the Revlon eyeliner. This was in my videos. This one actually might be the original. This is not the one I use. I actually have another brand new one that I got recently. This one is completely dried out. And I think this might be the one from back last year when I was filming and stopped filming. Um, I did a favorites video and I'm pretty sure this was in it. But um, I used it on my lashes today, did a little wing situation. And what I love about this, and I really don't want to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm not very good at drawing on my hand, but obviously that one's really dried out. But you can just see, there we go. It gives you really precise lines. You can see kind of towards the tip, I was able to get a precise one. Obviously, I'm not going to be um, doing eyeliner on my hand. That's not what this is used for. It's for my eyes. So it's a lot easier to do when I'm doing it on my eyes than on my hand. But I promise you, if you have problems with eyeliner doing wings like I did, this product will be revolutionary. I like it because it's more of a felt tip rather than like a brush tip where you have bristles you have to deal with. Um, it is just an amazing product. Okay, so the next product is actually a moisturizer. Not super impressive, I know. This one just has been really good for me. I have a few issues with oily skin. I have acne prone skin. This doesn't break me out. And it's super duper affordable, under six bucks. It is the Solimo Facial Moisturizer. It's oil free, which I absolutely love. Um, it doesn't have a crazy list of ingredients like a lot of brands do. You guys can't see that. My camera's not gonna focus, so I'm not even gonna try to get it to. Um, it is, I know not maybe the most glamorous type product, um, but what I love about it is that it doesn't make my skin greasy, so I can put makeup on over it. Um, it really moisturizes the heck out of my face. My face always looks super glowy when I use that. I just absolutely love it. And I've tried some expensive ones in the past, like Drunk Elephant moisturizers, and this one is just absolutely amazing. Okay, we're almost done. I don't know how many I grabbed. I just grabbed a bunch of stuff. The next thing I have for you, and actually I'm going to do the next two things as one. These products are actually um, dry oils. You spray them on your hair and it makes them super glossy. As you can see, I used it today. Makes your hair super duper glossy. One is by OGX. It's the coconut oil one, kind of like the uh, drops that I showed you. And one is by Cake. This is the Gloss Boss. Smells absolutely unbelievable. Um, super duper good. Um, these together are like a power horse. They are just amazing. But I do like to do them separate, um, depending on what I'm wanting. This one's a little more natural. It's not super oily looking, not super glossy. And this one's a little bit of that extra gloss, which is what I have on today. It's not really picking up on camera too, too well, um, from what I can see. But it is absolutely amazing, and I might be able to show you guys. I'm messing my hair up. But, oh, I was spraying like, you can see it is just such a pretty product. Um, the reason I wanted to share that with you guys is that I have been on the search for like hair products that really and truly are like my favorites and it's been a little bit hard for me to find them and then when I do find them I stick to those and then I'll try out other hair products but typically I just kind of stick with my favorites and these are definitely my favorites. Okay last two products. One is also a skincare product. It is by Botanics. It is the 80% Organic Rose Hip Eye Cream. I like this stuff because it's not super harsh on my skin. I've had problems with eye creams in the past kind of breaking out my skin or giving me like little rashes under my eyes. Not nice. Um, this product doesn't do that. It doesn't make my eyes water too much. Um, I just really like it. It's super friendly um, to my skin, to the environment. I don't know. All that stuff. Super good product. And the last one I have is actually what I've been using on my brows. Now, before I show you the product, when I was filming last year and even some into this year, I had the worst brow game. I still do. It's not great, but it's not bad, as bad as it used to be. It was so bad. Um, and it was always my eyebrows were like blocks all the time. And this product is just absolutely amazing. I use it, use it on both, obviously. Um, right now I'm in the process, by the way, of growing my eyebrows in just a little bit more. So like there's like a bunch of like little hairs that I've tried to cover up with like concealer and stuff um so that's what that is if anybody's you know interested but i use the maybelline new york tattoo studio brow gel i use the shade i have no idea what shade this is chocolate brown and it looks like this comes with like its own applicator i don't use the applicator i use an angle brush you can see it looks like that kind of fuzzy 
Um, what I love about this product is it does last all day. Unless I like start rubbing my eye, like my eyebrows or whatever, it really and truly does last all day. I don't have any problems with smudging or anything like that. Um, it is just a really, really good product. And I wanted to share it with you guys in this video because it is a newer favorite um, and it really has changed my brow game. Alrighty, y'all, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, next week, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen with videos. So this might be the last one until the week after next. But if it is, I will see you guys then. You guys have a great day and a happy Sunday, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.